Hey guys, Brandy here. As you know, I live in a household with 14 cats and a number of people have contacted me and asked me to do some product reviews on some cat products because if they can hold up to 14 cats, they can hold up to one or two, right? So I decided to do a little bit of reviewing. These videos will be random and they will not interfere with the true crime videos that I put up every Friday. So if a video goes up on Friday, that is a true crime case or mystery. Any videos that I post throughout the rest of the week that are not on Friday will either be meet the felines or product reviews and they will be kind of sporadic. If you don't like product reviews and you want to ignore this video, that is fine. Stick to your true crime if that's what you're here for. But I just want to throw this out here to be helpful for people because I personally rely a lot on product videos when it comes to my pets. I thought I'd just help out as well. So my first product review. Hi guys, we are going to be talking about the Drinkwell and the Klee Board Cat drinking fountain today. That's Lady Dimes, by the way. She loves these cat fountains. Can you just get out of the way? Thank you. I've had the Drinkwell fountain going on for about three years now, and I've had the Kleeborg fountain going on almost a year now. I like them both. Now, I do want to talk about that. I've had another fountain. It was the Cat It Flower Fountain, which I think a lot of people are used to seeing. I liked the fountain, it worked fine, but the problem was is I had a jerk cat who would tip it over every chance he got. I would come home from work and there would just be water everywhere. I even bought the base where you put it into the base and kept it from tipping, but he was very determined and he kept tipping it over, so I had to come up with a different solution. Freddy. So let's start with the drink well fountain. I went ahead and I went and emptied it of water so you can see how it comes apart. It's very easy to clean and comes back together. And the best thing about this is it's kind of hard plastic. Guys, it goes in the dishwasher. You can wash this in the dishwasher. Yay. So to take it apart is very easy actually. You just take this part here and you pull up on it. There you go and it comes apart like this, and this is just a big plastic piece. And then here is where the filter at and the pump's at. So the filter, when you use the filter, the black side always goes towards uh, the pump. And you can kind of see this has had some use. So we're gonna change the filter when we clean this as well. Now, one thing I have noticed about this is you can see, ah, cat hair. So when the thing is assembled, you see the little screen here on this side. When you assemble it and the water gets sucked in through there, cat hair will get stuck in that grate and in there and you have to clean it out. But it's very simple to clean it and this actually has a suction cup. So you can pull this pump out and get it all clean and then you can actually clean the pump out using like a toothbrush or a pipe cleaner or anything like that. So what I usually do to clean this out like on a weekly basis is I just run it under the sink water and uh, I might you know like use a little scrubber or whatever to get off any water stains. So really all I did to clean this is I ran it under the water and then I ran this under the water and then ran this under the water to get rid of any cat kind of hair. So now we're going to put a new filter in. The filters look like this. And they do recommend that you do kind of wet it first to get, you know, any of the dust out, basically, the carbon. And then it just simply fills into these little slots here. Remember, the back goes towards the pump. And you just press down. And that's it. I mean, it's pretty simple. And then to put it back together... You just grab the top and you fit it into the slots here. And then I just kind of give it a pop and then now it's on and it's ready to be filled with water and plugged back in. Okay, so we filled it with water and it's back in its place. So I'm just going to plug it in. And as you can see, 
it will fill up and start going over this little waterfall. The ramp does help to keep it more quiet, so you might hear a little bit of water running, but it's not that big of a deal. And I'll get really close. You do hear a slight hum of it running from the pump, but it does help to put it on a mat or something like this because it will silence the pump as well and does not scare the kitties. Okay, now let's talk about the Klee board drinking fountain. Now this drinking fountain, I really, really like. I do like it a little bit better than the drink well, but uh, the problem is, is that the big con to it is, is, is if you lose power, since this water comes up from the tank up from the bottom, it doesn't leave any water here because it all goes back into the tank. So if you lose power, no water's flowing and no water is left out for your pets. But that is the only con I can think of right now. Now, this is the newer version. There is a version on Amazon that is an older version and I do not recommend that version because in when you dissemble it, the older version has these like circuit board things right here and I'll try to throw up a picture. But what happens is, is if you overfill it, it hits those circuits and then ruins it. And that's exactly what happened when I had the older version. So I got this version and I like it a lot better. So I already emptied it out with water and it's really easy to disassemble and clean. This just pops out. Then this whole tray here, this is your filter, which you can see cat hair, it's really doing its job. So we'll replace that filter as well. And then this whole plastic piece pops out like this and you can clean that. Now this does state that it should not go in the dishwasher. So this one is not dishwasher safe. Now you can see that some of the debris and everything, my cat's putting their paws in the water, playing in it, does get in the base. But that is why there's this little sponge here it actually picks up most of the cat here in the debris so it's not put into the pump so that's really good so again to clean this out i usually just run it under water get it all clean and then we'll put it back together okay now before i actually we got it all clean but before i want to put it back together i do want to show you that this water fountain actually has three different settings on it uh, for the water flow so if you actually pull up the pump just suctioned on the bottom there's this little switch here see that and it has three settings and one's like a low flow one's a medium flow and then one is a you know heavy heavy flow <laughs> that doesn't sound right um it's the most maximum flow i personally like leaving it on the most maximum flow because it really helps my cats show where the water level is so they don't have any trouble you know sticking their noses in the water and then that just you know you push it down it'll suction cup there and then there's a little place for that sensor that's what senses your power then this just puts right back into that little hole and then this is the easiest to go back together because you would take you know this right here and you would line the holes up here with your flow and then you just kind of pat it down fits very well. Here is your filter, which I've already ran under the water to get rid of the dust, and that just sits in there just like that. And then you have the cover that goes at the top, and you just fit it in there like that. And it is now ready to be filled up and plugged in. Okay, so now we got it filled up, and it's back by its drink well partner, and we're just going to plug this in. And this is what it looks like when it's flowing. This has a water level indicator on it as well. If it gets down to past the minimum, it actually stops working. So it will not burn the pump up if it gets too low, it just stops. There's also a nice, if you can kind of see that blue light, I'll put a picture of what it looks like at night. But that blue light is very illuminating and then easy for pets to find it at night. So there are the two fountains that I use and that I like and I kept them both mainly because of this one has the major con that if you were to take power away as you can see it stops flowing and then all it takes is one of my dogs to come up drink all this water because it's not very deep at all and then nobody else has any water. Now obviously I have other water dishes around the house 
but if this is all you had for water, it could cause an issue. So we're gonna pump this back in. And there you go. So if this stops working, of course, there's two basins of water, so you're good to go. But my cats and my dogs really like these. They use them all the time. And here's my cat, Bruce, who is going to get, oh, he has an itch. But his favorite fountain is this one. I have other cats that like this one because of the waterfall. But yeah, he's uh, he prefers the Kleeborg fountain because there's a big wide basin and he, he's a big boy, so, and he has a big head. So he doesn't really want to stick his face in something small. He wants it bigger. So, so that is my review for uh, the cat fountains that I use and the one I used before but got rid of because of Freddy. So I hope this review you found helpful. I will put the links to the cat fountains. You can find them on Amazon. Please be aware if the links fall under the heading of affiliate that if you click that link and buy, I will make a little bit of money off of those. Um, but that money goes back to taking care of my 14 cats. So thank you guys. I'll see you next time.